All right, Virgo, let's get you done. Hopefully we'll have some better luck for uh, your love life in April of 2022. Uh, some of these signs have been crazy, these readings. I don't know if it's because it's eclipse coming up or what, but this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and of course, North Node. Energies go both ways. We're going to do... Um, five cards you your partner the present condition what's coming in and the heart of the matter and some um overall oracle all right if these messages resonate please do like and subscribe i hope all is well for virgo keep in mind time is fluid virgo April, April, 2022, where is the vibration between the two of you, Virgo? Where is the vibration between the two of you, Virgo? Thank you. Cosmic flower. The frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence into the world. That's beautiful. Very nice, Virgo. The place we call home the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world that's the frequency hold on one sec guess not all right Let's see what the Moonology has to say for Virgo. It's beautiful. The place we call home. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus and North Node, April 2022. If you find these messages you're meant to take what resonates leave the rest you and your loved ones are safe virgo new moon in cancer something could be coming up for you in july something could have happened in july One more, please. One more, please, for Virgo. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So Cancer season might be significant for you. This upcoming Cancer July, June, July, August season might be significant for you beautiful energy thus far. Hopefully it stays that way. Thank you. The energy is gaining momentum. I have a feeling <clears throat> some Virgos out there are, um, have a, I don't know why I want to say a game, not a game plan. I don't, I don't want to put it that way, but a, um, intention thank you intention all right so this will be five cards you your person your present condition what's coming in for the month and the heart of the matter remember energies go both ways one two Three, thank you. Oh, four. One 
One more. One more, please. Thank you. Five. Okay. Five on the deck. <clears throat> Page of Wands. Could be a child. Doesn't have to be. Knight of Wands underneath that. And the Two of Wands. A lot of fire energy, Virgo. Fire, fire, fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So the Page of Wands is communication. messages a message of some sort so we're going to look into that and see what that's about okay now again take it as it resonates switch the energy as you see fit you're coming in nine of wands more fire energy now this is considered the wounded warrior it's not a 10 the nine of wands fought very hard to get to where this energy got to male female doesn't matter because there's no gender in Terrell right so you're standing your ground with something um, However, this relates to your connection. The Eight of Wands behind um, behind this Nine of Wands, the Eight of Wands is the Arrows of Love. It's forward movement. It's fast, swift communication. Okay. Um, I, I'm feeling with this energy here, I'm feeling you are trying to... You're still fighting something. There's something, and not in a negative way, right? In in a way in which you've come so far, and I'm hearing Tom Petty's I Won't Back Down. That's what I'm hearing for some reason. I feel like with this, like, this individual, like, got to climbed Mount Everest and it's just like put the stake down and it's like I'm home that's what I'm here like like that cosmic flower this is also a nine the cosmic flower is an 18 which reduces to a nine it's like you're almost there that's the energy I'm feeling Virgo almost there like you like you feel this sense of home like there's a sense of release like once you get the nine of wands to the ten of wands you can release that burden <clears throat> like you're trekking your um connect your counterpart is a major arcana okay the empress could be a mother um doesn't have to be you could view her or him as empress material material that's lovely yeah okay let's let's view our uh our connection as material although the empress is the embodiment of all four queens in one right so she does give birth to everything in the reverse position um he or she is feeling not abundant or at least not abundant in this connection okay um there's a lack she's feeling or he's feeling um the potential is there obviously it's an you know the empress energy right taurus energy or libran energy yet there's a sense of hopelessness I'm feeling with this maybe because this is the reason you're you're fighting so hard or at least you're coming across that way toward the Empress now major arcana you're both embodying this so whereas the nine of wands um, albeit not a court card but it's minor, right? So 
but major arcanas both energies embody major arcanas so i feel as though you again you take it as it resonates goes both ways you are fighting for your empress because you sense that he or she is in uh, drained energetically drained exhausted uh, yeah so you're currently your current position is the two of pentacles okay um now this is you know juggling back and forth but this it could be the indecision there's some sort of it maybe a lot going on this is um there's a decision that needs to be made here obviously currently moving forward into into april we have the ten of pentacles in reverse now this could have to do with finances because we we obviously have two pentacles here um that we're juggling and the ten of pentacles is a completion all right um it could be uh, do we separate with the ten of pentacles in reverse um, or there could be fi financial problems on the home front. Uh, yet, you know, we'll have to clarify because your overall energy, there could be children involved here with the Empress also, finances, home, embodiment, you, you know, one fighting for, the, as the breadwinner, um, or a decision needs to be made about some message that comes through underneath that too we do have um the knight of wands and underneath that is again yet a two of wands in reversed so there was some decision there's some decision as it relates to some indecision some in and out messages there were messages coming in and out or an inner in and out player energy okay some flighty um fiery so we we seems like we're going to revisit some decision that was made as it relates to that with this two of pentacle and discuss it see fire burns out right pentacles don't and here you're coming in fighting okay with the overall energy states I feel like this wand here, this wand in the nine of wands that he's holding is what the page of wands wants to come and discuss. Page of wands wants to discuss what this knight of wands was in and out um, delivering. Okay, the pages are the messengers, the knights deliver them. So this knight of wands was in and out with this decision that was made but in the in the reverse position okay this two of two of wands in the reverse position i feel as though it was a decision in the past that this night okay was delivering in and out and in and out this page wants to come back and discuss i feel you virgo might be fighting for this as it relates to your empress so we're currently here juggling okay that what burnt out as it relates to that now we're going to have a we need a solid decision okay <clears throat> and moving forward what do pentacles do and an ace of pentacles turns into a ten of pentacles was ultimately what you want so are we going to make this our ten of pentacles uh, so it, it's in a reverse position we'll see the heart of the matter has everything to do with the six of cups again past energy soulmate energy nostalgia um, childlike energy home home cosmic flower the cosmic flower i mean you could see here uh i believe in in the right or weight not even i believe i know in the right or weight the one is giving to the other flowers and there is a figure in the background walking away turning the back to it so you know the energy is gaining momentum you and your loved ones are safe this might transpire um even though this is april read time is fluid 
the energy is gaining momentum i see this going into cancer season something could have transpired in cancer season and so now it's it's culminating here in april um we have our new moon um I'm recording this Thursday. New moon is tomorrow, Friday, in Aries. And so, um, yeah, we're going to have a um, solar eclipse also at the end, toward the end of the month. So let's clarify this and see what's going on. Virgo, switch the roles if need be. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Nine of Wands, why are you coming up with the Nine of Wands? Virgo, thank you, please. Why? Why is Virgo coming up the Nine of Wands? Clear understanding, please. Why? Clear and concise for the Nine of Wands. Thank you. The Four of Wands in reverse. Home. Again, it's coming up home. Um, Four of Wands is also happy celebration, engagement, uh, marriage. 11-11, soulmate. You have soulmate here, okay? Um, tell me more. Tell me more. Hierophant, commitment. Fighting for commitment, fighting for a union that I'm feeling these these four of wands have to do with these two of wands on the bottom of the deck, a choice that was made, okay, that we're going to revisit, that we're going to discuss. Again, children may or may not be involved within the home as it relates to commitment, higher level of commitment, higher order of commitment, hierophant, change. This is, uh, could be government, legal matters. One more, please. Thank you. And now you have the Ten of Pentacles upright. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Wands. As I was, as I was making mention. So... See how he has the Eight of Wands behind him. And that wand that he's holding, I feel, is the communicative wand, a phallic symbol. Also, I consider it the Ace of Wands, a new beginning, okay? A new beginning is that um, Ace of Wands, that Page of Wands is bringing in to communicate about that new beginning as it relates to the Ten of Pentacles. It's no coincidence that you have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position coming coming in for April. And here we're clarifying exactly what it is that you're doing. You want a happy home with someone. You want a legacy with someone. You want stability with someone. I'm feeling as though you're offering um, this Empress or trying to fight for uh, a happy home. And I'm seeing that this Four of Wands in the reverse position is indicative of wanting this commitment and fighting for it. Fighting for it. I'm going to do this like this. This is how I'm going to do this. The bottom of the deck is fast forward motion. Um, this could be travel, this could be sexting, texting, uh, online communication, um, Cupid's arrow. You want to come out of the nine of swords, anxiety, a sleepless nights. You have a lot of anxiety over this, okay? Let's look at your empress. Why is your empress in reverse? Ten of Wands, he or she wants to come out of the burden. See, you have the Nine, it was the Eight and the Nine, and your Empress has the Ten. So, you are fully aware that your counterpart is burdened. They're dropping it, though. And you want to rush in with this communication. 
you definitely want to come in as the Knight of, of Swords and you want to do it fast. Okay? Uh, you want to do it fast. Someone here has had a change in perspective. They've, they've been hung up, but now they're becoming enlightened. I think it's just a matter of timing for some reason. Why the Ten of Wands reversed? Ten of Wands reversed because of this son of a bitch. I, I do not like this son of a bitch. There was some sort of deception, but it's being released. Your Empress is putting down a burden as it relates to some deception that transpired. Could have happened in the home. Hence the reason the Four of Wands in reverse. It might have everything to do with this in and out energy in the past with this um, decision that was made with the Two of Wands. Okay? In which you're fighting for with this commitment. One more on that. One more on the Empress in reverse. Hence the reason he or she is drained, exhausted. Yep. Coming right back around. Page of, of Wands in reverse. So, I already said it. It was already spoken. This page wants to come back and discuss this in and out energy, whatever was delivered, messages, signs, whatever. This this in and out energy, is, it comes and it goes, okay? And it's not always truthful because of some decision that was made incorrectly or wrong, okay? And whoever did it knows it. So now we want to rectify it to fight for this empress. We want to rectify it. Because we, she, she or he is drained, wants to put down this burden, the 10, that you were carrying because of some lie, deception, manipulation from the page of wands that in the past came in as the knight of wands making a choice with that wand <laughs> we know what that wand's all about right as a player and um cause some bullshit possibly in the home doesn't have to be but we have the ten, ten of pentacles twice here so our current situation is two of pentacles now remember the, the four of wands is not just you know the happy home ten of ten of pentacles is not just happy home it's also the stability and again it's the commitment with the hierophant it's everything it's um It's marriage, it's commitment, it's home life, it's spiritual union. It's everything you could possibly want. So we're currently at a two of pentacles going back and forth and back and forth with a decision that needs to be made to the, the tangibility of do we, do, are we going to have this stable discussion first and foremost because we want to we want to drop the conflict the four of wands to the five of wands so there was conflict here there was meddling or other people there was this internal external conflict this is competition okay this is think of this is in the reversed why because of two of cups energy soulmate union you have very beautiful reading actually to be honest so far soulmate union two of cups because of that ace of pentacles ace of pentacles so you're here this is where you are here because you want to deliver this ace of pentacles somebody does okay so now we're currently at the two of pentacles this bottom of the deck there's a two of cups so we're dropping the five of wands no more competition no more inner and external conflict no more meddling so what are we going to do now all right with this decision when this message comes back around so we can get rid of all this nonsense nine of wands a lot of succession a 
lot of succession. When readers see, like, when we see succession, eight, nine, ten wands, like, when there's a lot of succession and a lot of repetitive, like, that's not coincidental. Nine of wands in the reverse, let's see. Page of swords upright. Interesting. I asked for one and I get two, but that's fine. Okay. The two of pentacles want to come out of wounded warrior. You're here being wounded warrior. Okay. No longer do you want to fight for this in a good way, right? We won't, we, we don't want to always be in this position because your empress is dropping the 10. You're the nine. She's dropping the 10. You want to get to the ace. So let's not go back and forth anymore with this two of pentacles. So let's drop, the, drop, you know, having to fight like this anymore. Someone here currently is spying. They're stalking. However they're doing it, they're doing it. I don't know how. You could do it a thousand ways. Trust me. I know. <laughs> not that I know, but I know it can be done. And because of the king of, of pentacle, which is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. They want to come in and offer this commitment. Currently, this is why they're fighting. You're fighting. This is your energy. You're fighting for an empress for all of these reasons. Currently, to offer the pentacle to be able to put it on the table so this decision can be made. They're stalking here so you can have this commitment. The king of pentacle is reliable, stable. They're the ten of pentacles. They're the four of wands. They're the hierophant. They are the king queen of pentacles. Uh, I mean, is that why? Because the wheel of fortune. It's a ten. It's a cycle, but it's faded. They want the fortune to change. They want this faded to bend. And this is what's currently happening. Something here is currently transpiring. What it is you know, because this is your reading, you would know better than I would. Take it as it resonates. But this is all happening because someone feels like someone else is home the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world and the energy is gaining momentum this is a very interesting read it's, it's so far so good all right Virgo. so co going as april proceeds from the new moon on the first to the eclipse, you have the Ten of Pentacles in the reversed. So, which is only telling me you're fighting for the Ten of Pentacles, you're fighting for the Hierophant. I mean, this is not, even though it's it's happening, it's being into becoming. Okay, so why is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position? Either you're separated, you're still in financial disarray, that Wheel of Fortune is still spinning. It's a 10, so it's not closed out. Uh, Empress is in the process of dropping burden. Let's, you know, figure it out. I mean, still deception is, is still here. It's being brought to light. You still have your Four of Wands in reversed. Because you're Four of Swords. I'll get to that in a second. King of Swords. One more. One more. Thank you. And here is your Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck. Your Queen of Wands. Virgo could be dealing with a, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Virgo, there you are. Enlightenment, going within. Wisdom. Okay. So, 
We're still not at our Ten of Pentacles, though we're fighting for it, obviously. We're going within, we're figuring out how do we get there. Recovery, meditation, um, maybe in separation, not talking. There could have been a Three of Swords situation at one point where we're waiting to pick up this sword, we're waiting to communicate here, okay? We're figuring out how do we go about communicating this. Again, Page of Wands. Swords are communication. It's a four. It's stability. You have your four of wands here. Stability. Home life. Four is home. Four is stability. Four is cancer season. Okay? So, there is some strategic plan here how we're going to go about doing that because the king of swords. See? Their truth clarity understanding higher order you know one of you might be cut out from the other's life life so you can get this ace of wands this new beginning it's clear it's clear to me okay um with what seems to be perhaps i mean this is virgo you have virgo you have the queen of wands doesn't have to be a virgo doesn't have to be a queen of wands just the energies that are coming up. Um, you could be uh, Virgo with a lot of fire in your chart. I'm a Leo and I'm full of Virgo. I might as well be a Virgo. I'm a Virgo true node. I'm a Virgo stellium. I'm Virgo everything. So, the heart of the matter is Six of Cups. I'm not a Virgo Ascendant, though. So, the heart of the matter is nostalgia. Going back and rectifying, this is past, this is soulmate, this is... Okay, why... Why the Six of Cups, please? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Moon. These are the Queen of Cups. There's love here. The Three of Cups in reversed. No reconciliation. Three of Cups in the, in the upright is reconciliation. Um... <clears throat> Sometimes festivity. Um, the heart of the matter. Love with the. There's love here. Wanting to reconcile. No third party when Three of Cups is in reverse. Wanting to come back to the to your to the love, the Queen of Cups. When you have the Queen of Cups, you you want. I mean, the Queen of Cups is all about love, caring, nurturing. I mean, what else would you fight for? The Empress, of course. One more in the heart of the matter. Six of Cups reversed. They, they they want to go back and but then see how I told you the six of cups cosmic flower feel like home the six of cups is a heart of the matter because six of cups reversed the heart of the matter is this person feels like home this energy feels like home Six of Cups and Six of Cups in the reverse. They want to put it in reverse and remembrance of the place we call home. Their Queen of Cups, the, the one, the King or Queen of Cups, the one in which they love, the Empress. Okay? There's no reconciliation as of yet. However, they want to come back 
with that offer of the choices of the past and do what bottom of the deck offer that ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles turns into the ten of pentacles and that's what Virgo is fighting for this energy is fighting for is the ten of pentacles the hierophant and that's why we see it's still not happening or it's it's in in april we're meditating on this with the four of swords the king of swords why because they want the ace of wands they want the ace of wands they want their will of fortune to turn around they want their ace of pentacles this is clear someone feels like home to somebody this is all about reconciliation the um love oracle deck for Virgo, please. One for Virgo. The snake and the golden mirror. Competition. Enemy. Clever. Malicious look. Over your shoulder and the other woman. Take it as it resonates. You're getting the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. The Empress. The Empress. Thank you. Paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. What's going on in the current situation? Yeah, it doesn't surprise me any. Because you got the stalker here. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. Currently, you also have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. These are your current energies. What's coming in for April for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. And at the heart and the core of the matter here, someone feels like home. Thank you. Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, all these six of cups, and make new memories. Bottom of the deck, healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Virgo, that's what I have for you. I hope it resonated. Like and subscribe. Subscribe. Is that my power about to go out? Okay. Um, and until next time, ciao for now. Bye.